Hi, my name is Muhammad Nur Hazib bin Ahmad Fauzi and my ID number is MDA23-07112. Hi, my name is Ahmad Amir Zakuan bin Zarain. My number ID is MDA23-07094. Hi, my name is Mama Khan bin Risha, MDA 2307017. Hi, Assalamualaikum. As for the qualitative data, we can identify there is five category for telco provider, which is Cellcom, New Mobile, DG, One SIS, and lastly, Maxis. For the higher telco use is Maxis, which is 10 students, and the list of uh, telco uh, use is your mobile which is only three students who were using it okay now we will move to the quantitative data okay based on our assessment we have conducted a survey in the kpm i molek that involved 30 sample of student in kpm i molek we are able to collect the data of speed in each class through our survey which using the platform of speedtest.com we have combined all the speed telco to get the average data speed and provide a class model range of 6 class and the class with 6 Mbps. Based on our table, we can also calculate, calculate the average speed, frequency, midpoint, cumulative frequency, lower boundary and upper boundary. Based on the data, I can transfer it into a form that is histogram, frequency polygon and OGF and you can see as the graph that I provided there I have already transferred it and you can see it so for the data analysis we have calculated the mean mode and median for the quantitative data so for the first mean the we have given the table that we have analysis for each of the class level for the mean calculation we use the formula which is the total fx uh, divided with the total f so uh, which means 11.6 plus 39.2 plus 75.9 plus 106.8 plus 141.7 plus 193.5 divided with 30 with, with, which is the sample and we will get 80.96 so for the mode we took one of the mode, uh, level class which is 1.0 mbps until 1.9 mbps we use the calculation which is 0 0.95 plus 8 minus 0 divided with 8 minus 0 plus 8 minus 8 and times with 0 0.9 this we will get 1.355 so for the median we have given the the median table for each of the class speed so the calculation is we use the location of median class for the 15 position which is uh, located at the median class 2.0 until 2.9 speed of Mbps so the value of median is 2.0 plus 30 over 2 minus 8 over 8 and times with 0 0.9 we will get 2.78 so for the second quantitative data we also have given a table which we already analysis each of the price of the internet plan so first of all for the mean we choose the same uh, formula which is the total fx uh, divided with the total f so 50.5 plus 76.5 plus 497 plus 546 will divided with 30 which is the sample and we will get 37.83 so for the mode we choose the model class which is 31 until 40 ringgit and the calculation we use is 30.5 plus 40 minus 3 divided divided with 40 minus 3 plus 40 minus 12 
and then we will times with 9 and the answer we will get is 22.88 so for the median we also have analysis each of the price of the internet plan and also we have given the table for the each position for the price level so the location of median class we choose is the, is the 50 position which is located at the median class of 31 until 40 so the value of median is 31 plus 20, 30 over 2 minus 3 divided with 40 and times with 9 and the answer we will get is 38.71 now we will move on to the first quartile but how do we find that okay first thing first we have to know the lo location of the first quartile uh, okay we just enter the sample divided by 4 so 30 divided by 4 will get 7.5 now we will we can look at the table the location of the 7.5 is between 1.0 and 1 1.9 mbps so we can enter the amount into the formula and we will get the value of the first quartile is 1.79 you can look at the working that i provided there now then for the third quartile the working that we have to find the third quartile is same like a uh, first quartile but it have a different formula the addition formula for the third quartile that is the 30 divided by 4 but we have to time by 3 because it is third quartile then we have time by 3 and we will get 22.5 the location of third quartile class then uh, we see at the table the position of 22.5 is between 4.0 until 4.9 mbps so we have the value then we can enter it into the formula so if we enter the formula you can see at the working that i provided we will get 4.18 okay as for the standard deviation the formula we use is square root of sum of f times x power of 2 over n minus 1 minus by sum of fx power of 2 over n times with n minus 1 okay as you can see in the table what is f f is a number of student what is x x is a midpoint and you can see the total sum of the internet speed for number of student midpoint uh, have been calculated in the table and uh, throughout our fo using formula to calculate standard deviation we got for the internet speed is 1.71 as for the price of student paid uh, for their internet plan, uh, as same again, we use the uh, same formula and the result we get is 14.24. So, for the distribution skewness, based on the previous calculation, we discovered that the mean is 1880.96, while mode is 1.36 and the median is 5.9. This interpretation is positively skewed. The higher peak of the graph shows the mode value, followed by the median and lastly the mean. This caused our graph to skew to the right that we have given in the slide down here. This shows that there is a longer tail on the right side of the graph. So, for the second quantitative data, Based on the previous calculation, we discovered that in this graph, that the median is 38.71, while mode is 22.88 and the mean is 37.83. This interpretation is negatively skewed. The higher the P of the graph shows the mode value followed by the median and lastly the mean. This causes our graph to skew to the left. So, for the Pearson measure of skewness, we use the formula of PSK equals to mean minus mode divided with the standard deviation. So, we took the first quantitative uh, data and DC, which is the mean mode and the standard deviation we got, which is 80.96 
minus with 1.36 divided with 1.75 we will get the answer which is 10.057 which is this shows that it is more than zero which is positively skewed so for the second quantitative we use the same formula which is psk uh, equals to mean 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 minus with mode divided with s standard deviation so the calculation we use is 37.83 minus with 22.88 divided with 40.24 which we will get the answer with 1.05 this shows it is more than zero, which is positively skewed. Okay, for the coefficient of variation, we use the formula S divided by X times 100. What is S and what is X? S is the standard deviation that we calculate before, and X is what uh, is a mean which we calculate before. Okay, for the uh, mean for internet speed in KPM is 18.96 uh, for the price of internet plan is 37.83 for the standard deviation for internet speed is 1.71 and for the price of of uh, internet plan is 14.24 okay throughout our calculation for internet speed in KPM is 9.02% and for the price of internet Plan is 36.37%. Okay, the coefficient of variations, or uh, we call it COV, for group 1 is 9.02%, while for group 2 is significantly higher at 36.37%. Group 2 is exhibit much higher relatively variable compared to group 1. Uh, this indicates that in terms of consistency, group 2 data points score more stable or higher speed out than those in group 1. Uh, a higher coefficient of variation suggests a less homogeneous database with more variability.